Wow. I <laughs> thought, like, on, on our side, is like, what, five, nine? <laughs> yeah. He's, so, he's kind of intimidating wow. when you watch the show. Is he like that in person? No. That's good. No. And if you look at some of the guys in Woodbury, there's some big guys over there in Woodbury. <laughs> like, one guys, his name is T. Love. He plays uh, the crossbow or something like that. And he, he's huge, man. <laughs> he was actually, it was a blessing for him because he was actually one of the workers, one of the grip people. Uh -huh. And they gave him an opportunity to act. And when I tell you this dude, man, he's just like a country bunking strong. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, one like one of the um, you know, not one of the golf carts, but like one of them uh, swamp SUV things have flipped over on top of him one time, and he got up and moved it off of him. <laughs> <laughs> over, man. So there's big people over there in Woodbury. So I don't know. What what Tyrese and everybody else is gonna do, but they better come with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's awesome. funny. So, uh, what celebrity would you like to see turned into a walker? If you could pick any celebrity, I would say Robert Kirkman, but uh, <laughs> 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 um, Halle Berry. Halle, Halle Berry. Berry. Yeah, I'd be like, come bite me. <laughs> <laughs> would you be like, come bite me. We could be able. <laughs> Like, Holly Berry, man, I think she'd be a sexy walker, man. That'd, that'd be yeah. awesome. Definitely. Her, Angela Jolie, something just sexy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't see a lot of sexy zombies on the show, so. Sexy. Not unless I turn into one. <laughs> True exactly. story. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, well, let's move on a little bit. How about you tell us about your movie, In-Laws and Outlaws? You know, it's funny because somebody just asked me about that today. And the thing about it, we shot that thing like seven years ago. Really? Really? Wow. <laughs> the new name, I'm like, because I'm like, hello, hello, what is that? <laughs> they just put it on IMDb like maybe sometime this week. And I had no idea what it was. And then I looked at my, my uh, character name. And I'm like, man, we shot that years ago. So. Wow, that's interesting. But I, I am going to North Carolina this weekend to start filming a, a, a show called, uh, a movie called Live Evil. So, Ooh, uh, awesome. I actually get to be funny. <laughs> Small town with all these evil things happening around there. So, we'll see. Sounds cool. Kind of sounds like uh, My Name is Bruce, how they have that big, huge thing going on. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Definitely. Yeah. Very cool. Can you tell us like more about that, or is it still kind of you're figuring out a little bit? I'm still sort of figuring out. It's like you know, sometimes you read stuff and it'd be so, totally different than how you read it. So I didn't know it's supposed to be a uh, horror comedy. Right. Okay. Yeah, Sweet. So it'd be something different for me. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I just did a play uh, a few weeks ago about domestic violence called The Conversation. And it was deep. It was deep, man. You had people in there crying and all types of stuff. So yeah. they're talking about bringing it back. But this time I have uh, the R&B singer Fantasia in it. As well. Oh, wow. Yeah. A young lady named uh, Tasha Biltmore. She wrote and directed it. So That's based cool. on her life. Wow. Oh, wow. I mean, but by me being the, her, the abuser, mm -hmm. and for her to say she lived that life, Sad, sad, sad. Wow. And I actually had to like really whoop the young lady who uh, betrayed my wife in the play. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Um, I want to talk a little bit. Um, we just realized that you do like erotic poetry and you <laughs> put music by behind it. <laughs> we were listening to a little bit of that the other day. We we're like, this is good. I to that too. <laughs> oh. Talk eargasms, don't talk, just listen. <laughs> and you know, I used to, growing up, me and my, my best friend, we used to have this thing called The Voice. Uh -huh. You know, when you're always trying to impress the girl, so you would be on the phone trying to talk sexy. <laughs> and as time went on, you know, text messaging started. I used to call myself the king of texting. <laughs> but like, I tell well, I'm going to give you some good text today. <laughs> <laughs> And then somebody's like, you should put some music to it. So I know this guy who plays uh, keyboards for an R&B singer named Michelle A. Named Cedric Lilly. We hooked up. I took some pictures. 
put a CD together. And before I knew it, I was on a, mini- a miniature tour. <laughs> what? <laughs> I put it together for fun. Yeah. People, started, people started liking it, man. So, that's I mean, awesome. <laughs> That's so yeah, that's that's where Eargasm came from, erotic poetry. That's awesome. And you know, that I was I can't lie, I was so nervous when I first performed it. Because it's so like to the point and you've got to try to be sexy, but then you know, you might say something to a woman, she's like, oh. <laughs> Don't act like you ain't never heard that before. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That's awesome. Well, we know that you started your own production company about a year ago. We were wondering how that was going and if you could tell us more about it. You know what? I've been so busy doing other people's stuff that I really haven't been able to, like, really touch mine. The only thing that I, I did do, um, I created a cooking show. Oh. Yes, yeah. So now, you know, once my name gets out there more, it'd be easier for somebody to pick it up. Right. So I, it's hard doing that type of stuff, you know, especially if people don't know who you are, don't have a uh, producing history or whatnot. So right. that was the only, well, and one other thing, like a hair show, uh, this thing called Battle of the Sexes was underneath my uh, BMW Productions. Oh, oh I've heard awesome. of that. Yeah, and then, and then I do a lot of plays. Uh-huh. So I do like a lot of um, traveling, like the Tyler Perry type of plays. Yeah. Those type of things. And that, man, he made a lot of money from that stuff. So yeah, I want to get under the umbrella of BMW Productions. That's awesome. Projects or anything you're working on that you'd like to share with us? Just the, the movie is coming that I'm about to fly out for tomorrow. Uh, I got two big auditions today. Good deal. And, um, well, good luck to you. <laughs> thank you. You know, we got some plays coming up. Got some, you know, going to visit some kids. You know, like I told you, Indiana. Right. Uh, all these different conventions, some hosting, and um, just some auditioning. Right. That's about it. Cool. Awesome. How, how do you like doing conve- the convention scene? Is that something new to you? This will be the, my first one on March 8th. <laughs> <laughs> I did like a small little of, um, signing in Burbank. That was really small. But this would be my first convention. Yeah, awesome. and I just thank the Walking Dead for that because if I wasn't on the show, then I wouldn't be at the convention. All right. Well, you're. I bet you're gonna have a blast. It's a. It's a, an experience doing conventions, even as fans. I, yeah. <laughs> heard. I went out and got me some Oscar slippers. <laughs> I called them some prison Nikes. <laughs> You know, I found some like sweatsuits that's uh, close to my prison gear that I wore on the show. So yeah. I'm gonna have fun. That's awesome. awesome. It's exciting, man. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I can't wait to meet people like to play Jason and <laughs> Freddy Krueger and people like that, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Nicest people. Yeah. 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 So It really is. You go to those things and people are like, you're going to a horror convention? Isn't that scary? And it's, no, it's like <laughs> the nicest people in the world are there. Right, because it's just like people who working. Mm-hmm. They just got on a mask. They just got a fake knife, fake yeah. stalls and stuff. So I'm just glad my face wasn't covered. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they did it, you know, leather face, all that. Their face was covered. He's like, yeah, I play leather face. Like, how do I know that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to sit down and talk to us today. We really appreciate it. 